Hey guys, my name is Matumio, and today I'm excited to say that it looks like Battlefield 4 is finally getting a true jungle map. You may have noticed last week when we got a fir our first glimpse at this new community-based map that it was very bare bones. It was wide out in the open, there were a few rocks and trees scattered around here and there, but it was just to get a sense of the layout and a sense of the direction that DICE was going to be taking with this map. Uh, they have been hard at work this last week, and they've added in trees. A lot of trees. There is so much vegetation on certain sections of these maps where you really do get the sense that you are in the middle of a jungle. We've never really had this in Battlefield 4. Some of you might be thinking, nay, 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 Matemio, we have Gwilin Peaks, there are other jungle themed maps like Dragon's Pass, and I would agree with you, but you never really get the sense that you're in the thick of the Amazon. Like, you never feel like you're in a, a really a jungle environment. Yes, there are trees out in the distance, and that has that theme, but we've never had a situation where we are really running through trees and bushes, pushing from objective to objective, and obstructing a lot of our vision. That is the one downside of this, and it's going to be very interesting to see what people think about this type of dynamic, because you really do have to think about combat differently. There are a lot of times where I thought I was in the clear to move out in the open and push on over to the other objective, but little did I know there was about 10 enemies waiting in the wings of basically the forest right at the tree line, and as soon as I ran out in the open, I was spotted and immediately mowed down. And so for some players, I can easily see how this could lead to some frustration. Personally, I love that. I love the idea of being able to duck into the forest, lose my enemies, loop around with a suppressor, and then take them out like Rambo. Like, that sounds awesome to me, but if you're getting shot at a seemingly nowhere, just out of the blue, and you have no idea where it's coming from because your vision is obstructed by all of these trees and vegetation, I can see where that can lead to some very annoying moments. Uh, one thing I love about the map, though, is that because of this layout, it allows for every single type of playstyle to be viable. If you want to drive around in a tanks, there's going to be two here, and you're going to be able to do a number on the enemy team. You're not going to dominate, though, and that's the, that's the key thing because of the ridiculous amount of trees. If an enemy wants to be sneaky and they want to completely avoid the tank combat, they can hide out in the vegetation and have that nice close encounter combat. If you want to snipe, though, that's also represented. There are some really nice sight lines. They're usually not around the objectives, per se, but if you position yourself in between the objectives and you play that supportive role, watching where the enemy is heading and take anyone out that runs out of cover out of the vegetation and tries to mosey on over to one of these objectives, you are going to have free reign over these players. One of my largest concerns when I first laid eyes on this map a week ago was that it was going to be Sniper's Paradise. There were there were hills and mountain sides that they could pitch a tent on, there was a ridiculous amount of open space, and I feared that if you played as the other classes, that you were just going to get dominated by the recons. Thankfully, DICE has done a phenomenal job of remedying this issue. You're still going to be able to snipe, or playing as a recon is still definitely going to be viable. There are plenty of long sight lines, but it's nowhere near as ridiculous as we had a week ago. And so overall, I am very impressed by what DICE is delivering on. I was not expecting to get a true jungle map. I I'm thrilled. If you can't tell from my tone of voice, I'm really excited to see where this map is going. And so far, I think that they're hitting it out of the park. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention before I take off for today, though, is I think a lot of you are going to be very happy with the way that the AN-94 is turning out. It's not as ridiculous as it was back in Battlefield 3. If I remember right, if you mastered the weapon, you could get the RPM all the way up to 1200. It was ridiculous. This basically allowed it to not only snipe at a distance, because that's what the gun was meant for, it was meant for long range combat, but if you did master that RPM and you worked it right, you could also dominate in close encounter combat as well. It was still a very skillful weapon, and not everyone used it because it did have a high learning curve, but once you did, it was a crazy good weapon. It doesn't seem to be as good as that. I think that they've dropped down the burst fire capabilities. I think it's 900 people are saying. I could be wrong, so don't quote me. But I gotta say that it is still going to be a dominant assault rifle. Some people are saying that it might be a little bit too good right now. I know that there has been some suggestions to maybe increase 
its horizontal or vertical recoil a little bit more so it's not as dominant as it is right now. But overall, if it stays just about the way that it is right now, I think many people are going to be excited about it. It is going to be an amazing long range and medium range weapon. And so far, I couldn't be happier. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is about it for today's little update. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about the idea of having a true jungle map. Do you like this concept? Do you think that it would get annoying because it might be difficult to understand where the enemy is coming from? Let me know down below. Uh, but until tomorrow, have a good one and take it easy.